Hi, my name is Deb Hunter. I'm a physiotherapist from Move Better for Life, and this is your 1.15 p.m. segment of an awkward amount of time. Today we're talking about knee pain, and in particular, patellofemoral knee pain, also known as runner's knee or mover goer's knee. Not that you have to do either of those things a lot to experience this pain. I'm going to talk to you now around why you might get patellofemoral knee pain or sometimes known as patellofemoral syndrome. Essentially, the knee is a hinge joint and it's supported by the quadriceps muscle at the front of the leg, front of the, the top of the thigh. And it attaches to the kneecap or what we call the patella. If the patella has a directional change of movement, then it will, get, it will cause pain in the structures underneath the knee. So what are the things that will lead to patellofemoral knee pain? Firstly, weakness of the quadriceps muscle. And that might be that you've had an injury directly to the quads muscle, or you've had an injury somewhere else that causes the quads muscle to become weak. Secondly, if you have weakness around the hip and buttock region, which can change the biomechanics of the leg and in turn changes the directional pull of the quads on the patella. Or conversely, you can have um, problems with your feet. If you have flat feet or what we call pronated feet, that as well can change the, way, the biomechanics of the leg further up the chain and change the directional pull of the quads and the kneecap. And again, cause patellofemoral pain. So what can you do about the knee pain? Typically, you may experience the pain uh, when you're going up and down stairs or doing squats. Um, you can get clicking in the knee. These are all things that the sort of uh, things you may experience if you have patellofemoral knee pain. But what in particular can you do about it yourself? Well, certainly um, stretching the muscles around the hip and the knee will help because that can reduce the problems with biomechanics around the hip and the knee joint. You can strengthen the muscles, that's very important, particularly of the quads and the hip joint, particularly the buttocks. And you can make sure that your feet are well aligned, so wearing well-fitted supportive shoes. Um, you may need some orthotics if you have particularly flat feet, um, and but that would need to be addressed either um, on advice of your physio and going to your podiatrist. Either way, there's lots of things you can do if you have patellofemoral syndrome. This is just an introduction. Um, if you happen to have knee pain, this might be one thing that uh, you are experiencing. So thank you for listening. If you need any more advice, give us a call and I'll see you next week for some other bit of advice on another part of the body. Thanks for listening, bye.